What is going on, guys? Nipsey or aka Sir Mancer, bring you some VG 2017 action, putting this sand team to the test. Be aware, guys, this is my first time using this team, so if I make a little bit of mistakes, I just, uh, just uh, brush that off a little bit, if, if you will. So we're going against a guy named Painboy over here with the Raichu Arcanine, Melodic, Pelipper, Tapu Koko, and the Bulu as well. So my team right now, the sand is pretty good. Sand is hurting a lot of people, uh, keeping the weather away from the Pelipper. I don't think I'll go with the Pelipper, but the sand is there. But I don't know if I want to leave with that. I really don't. I think an important Pokemon to bring is going to be the Magnezone to take down Bulu, Coco, Pelipper, Milotic. And, uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't know if I want to lead with him. Because that's four out of the six mods, two thirds are taken down by Magnezone. Like Magnezone can combat against. So you know what? You know what? Yeah, yeah. Magnezone lead. Then, we're going to go with... Do I go with Magnezone Gigalith right off the bat? Do I do that? Because granted, I don't need the speed. I don't need the sand for the speed. I need for the attack boost. I don't always, ha I always have to lead. Doug True and Gigalith. I can't talk. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that. Alright. Anyway, um... Like Magnezone Gigalith. Uh... Salamence. And let's test Doug True, man. Let's go for it. That's going to be Seymour right there, guys. If you're excited to see this team in action, the same team exactly be in action, show some love to that like button. And don't forget to press subscribe down below as well so you don't miss out on any competitive Sun and Moon content or some VGC 2017 content. So, with that being said, Pain Boy is ready for action. I'm ready for action. And let's see how our leads do right now. Magnezone and the Gigalith up against, in that timer ball, of course, too, up against that Raichu and Bulu. Oh, uh, Bulu kind of really hurts right now. Kind of really hurts. EQ damage can be reduced. I don't even have EQ, but... EQ damage indeed reduced, courtesy of uh, the aggressive surge. The sand goes up. All right. Um, sand's going to break the sash on Raichu if you have one. I don't know exactly what's going to happen here. I can indeed flash cannon the uh, Bulu. And then with the, uh, with the Giggle that can protect... But I don't know if it's going to go down. I'm going to hope you don't have super power. I'm going to flash cannon Bulu. And then with the Gigalith slot, I think I'm going to bring in Ments just to lower Bulu's attack stat. But if I do that, I'm scared of that Raichu and, like, psychic shenanigans. But I kind of want to keep Gigalith around for a bit. So you know what? I can just protect here. That sounds good. Let's protect it. There's no discharges going off. There's no, there's no like, any multiple hit hitting moves, I don't think, or multiple... Mon hitting moves going off here, so we should be fine to protect and the uh, flash cannon on that blue slot. Fake out goes off. It's gonna hit the madness order. That really, really sucks. All right, that does not good at all. Woodhammer though, gonna protect himself right through that. Obviously, I flinch can't move because of that lovely uh, fake out there, courtesy of that right you. Now, turn two. Mets is definitely coming in. We saw the Woodhammer. You saw the target on the on the on the on the uh, on the Gigalith. So now, I might redirect my focus to that right you. Just get some damage on it, because the, the sand is gonna be the sand damage is gonna make it by the uh, st uh, grassy terrain there. So like no sensors are broken. I think Manazone's gonna go for a sub here, and we're gonna bring in the Mens. No, no, no. Let's go for damage. We need, we need damage. We need damage. Let's uh. I can't even flash cannon right. We can't do much to bright you. So I'm gonna go for sub here, calling that blue to protect us all that or switch out maybe, and then with the. Uh, I'm gonna bring immense. Uh, I don't know, like this play that much, but I think I have to. Because you might double up on the Gigalith slot here. Oh, he withdrew the Raichu. Arcanine comes and get a lower by Gigalith. I don't care at all about that, in all honesty. So that's fine by me. And I'm gonna bring up my immense now. Lower Boo and Arcanine attacks. You know what? That immense switch is even better now. It is a lot better now. Gigalith, come on back to me. Bring in that immense. Now, I won't get my HP back because I'm flying in the air, and I will take Sandwich, unfortunately. But it is what it is. All right. Intimidate goes off. Very nice. Lower the juice of both those mons. Horn Leech goes off on the... Man, it's ain't gonna do much at all there. That's a 150 yet. I did 21 damage because of that Intimidate. And we get a free stop. Avoiding that Arcanized attack, which is actually really nice right now. And we can just Flash Cannon that Bulu. We can T-Bolt that Arcanine. What we're gonna do right now? I think we're gonna get rid of the Bulu. The Bulu is a threat, but so is the Arcanine. But I should outspeed Arcanine because it's based on the five with the by one point with the Doug Trio. So I can always EQ and probably Oko you, hopefully. Hmm. Or I can just Dragonium Z him right now and just go for huge damage on that slot. And then uh, with Magazine, just Flash Cannon the uh, Bulu. I think I'm going to do that in all honesty. 
because you have a uh, Raichu in the rear, it's pretty damn frail. So it's Flash Cannon Bulu. And you're straight up. Not Drake Meteor, not Drake Meteor, not Drake Meteor. Come on now. Z Power, Dra uh, Devastating Drake, the V Arcanine. That's going to be the play right there, folks. I think it's the play right there. Bulu gets withdrawn. You get to protect R2 Fluff. Either way, I get free damage. And I get a Flash Cannon on the Raichu as well. So either you're going for the Magnezone, trying to break the sub, or you protect here, trying to get a safe switch as possible. But no protect. Devastating Drake is going off on that Arcanine slot. Can it Oko? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure it's going to go down. But uh, I'm going to hope for at least put you in the red so you can die to like maybe the sand before the heal goes off. Or is it vice? I forget how that works out, honestly. But we'll see what goes. Even though it just happened. All right, let's see. Devastating Drake in that Arcanine slot. Boom! He's going to live it. He's going to live it. Okay. He's going to live it pretty well. Better than I wanted to. Oh, he's willowing the Arcanine. Well, my friend. I mean, the, uh, the Salmon's fine by me. I'm such an attacker. Yes, damage is going to add up, but hey, it's 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 not that bad at all. It is not that bad at all. Flash Cannon right, you're going to do about a third at most. Yeah, literally, like, exactly a third. Look at that rear there, folks. Look at that call right there. Boom, beautiful. No juices falling there. And get some HP back because of that terrain for a Magnezone, but not the Mence, unfortunately. All right, I can easily just... Yeah, so let's send the damage off first. All right, if only I get you a little bit lower. Hmm... He could fake out Mency. He might fake out the Mency and try to kill it with the Arcanine. But uh, I'm going to T-Book get the Arcanine out of my face, most likely. And then with the Mence, I'm going to bring in my... I honestly don't know who I'm going to bring in. Hmm. We're back to full HP with the Mence, which is really nice. Sitting behind that stuff is freaking incredible. Mence taking some burn damage right now. Raichu's really fast. He's going to try to... He can only fake out my Salamence. So we're going to T-Book start taking the Arcanine here. And then with the Ments, we're going to bring in Gigalith. No, I, I, I want to wait for your uh, HP to uh, go back up. So worst case scenario, Summons gets faked out here, and I really don't care at all. So I'm just going to go for a Draco Meteor on that Raichu slot. Or either that or I died or I T-Bolt. It's not, it's not really that big a deal. Summons said his job already. Arcanine, here comes a Bulu again, correct? My Lota comes in. All right, my Lota's going to take a huge T-Bolt right here, fam. And Tebow goes off to the Salmon slot. Goodbye. Oh, no. We just have the Magnezone. I guess you want me to protect there with the Ments. See, this worked out great. Draco Meteor goes off to be a dead Raichu. Granted, you're at pretty high health. But, uh, I think you did. You're too far. You're gone. You're gone. Yeah, beautiful. Gone. And now, if we Tebow this Melodic and does, like, over a half, I'm happy. I am happy as can be. Boom. Tebow goes off. Blah! Oh, yeah. There we go. Well over half right there. I guess, oh, 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 such a I guess maybe you want me to intimidate you with somebody else, or, uh, I don't know what you wanted in all honesty, but I'll, I'm happy right now. Burn damage, sand damage is all adding up. It's all adding up. We got, what, a turn of sand left right now? It's the last turn of sand, I believe. Hmm. So far, so good, though, in this game, guys. So far, so good against this, uh, our man from, uh, I forgot where you're from over here. We're doing good, we're good. I think we're solid right now. I think we're pretty damn solid with these moves right now. And they're our positioning. So you're going to bring in the Bulu, because all we got left. Bulu comes in. You can't risk the terrain. So it's the last one of terrain and the sand. Maybe not the sand, but either way. You're pretty, you're pretty, uh, you're pretty uh, close to losing this game right now. I'm in a good position. Great, and Samantha's is at neg two and can't do much. Oh, you get the Arcanine as well. Arcanine comes in. Okay, cool. Big, bad Arcanine. Hmm. Turn doesn't matter at all. I'm at neg two, neg two in the Ments. I wonder if Draco has enough to kill that Arcanine. Hopefully it does. T-Bolt, Milotic. And then let's just, uh, I could go for a sub and just get around everything because I'm the fetch thing here. But Ice Beam obviously pop that. Kind of want to kill the Arcanine, keep my sub going. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop a Draco on the Arcanine slot, try to kill him. See if we got enough juice in the tank. Dracomini goes off and connects at the end of the Arcanine. It could be. It very well could be. Basically a base 70 move now. Being a neg 2. I think it's how it works. No, oh my god. And you get a little bit of sand as well. Crap, it did nothing. You're so bulky, Arcanine. What the fluff? Gonna buy my sub here. What is the, uh, my Lord go for? That's the thing. What is my Lord go for? My Lord goes to the Ice Cream, goodbye to the Ments. It's fine. We're going to kill my Lord guys. It's going to be Bulu Arcanine versus the, uh, Magnezone. And I guess the, the Trio is going to come in last. So we're going to bring in Gigalith right now. Yeah. All right, goodbye, my Lord. That's gone. The threat to my whole squad is gone. But at the same time, Arcanine threatens Doug Trio. But I have EQ. I outspeed you. And, uh, yeah. Alright, go back to the Gretchen's turn. No, Gretchen's turn to get reset now, so it's not good for you. Alright, that's fine. 
This is a long battle right now for some VGC. All right, it's fine. Chris is gonna be gonna get it back right now because you got Bulu in the rear as I bring in my... Do I go Gigalith to reach the sand? But I, was thinking, I, I, I can't outspeed that Bulu right now. That's, that's what sucks. If I have Gigalith and Magnazone. Granted, he can't do much to the Magnazone, but like... So, so Doug Trio is a sash right now. Flamethrower is gonna hurt the. Uh... I gotta scare that Arcanine a little bit to be honest. So I think I'm gonna go into Doug Trio here. No, I'll go into Gigalith. I'm going to go for that Rock Slap Protect. You might double up on the Gigalith, not I could lose this game, man. I could lose this game for sure. Bulu comes in. Oh, this is a tough one, folks. This is indeed a tough one right now. This is indeed a tough one. That terrain goes back up. Sand goes back up. We got five more turns. So the rest of the battle is going to have terrain and the sand up. So the thing is, Arcanine is never a threat to the Doug Trio. So I got to kill the Bulu as quick as possible. I'm going to Flash Cannon Bulu. And just uh, Rock Slap with the Glyph. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going for it, man. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Oh, he goes for a Bloom Doom? What is he doing right here? Gigalith is gone. So, goodbye to Gigalith, unfortunately. Goodbye to that Gigalith, man. Goodbye to that Gigalith. So, with how bulky Arcanine is, I'm going to say it's not going to hit that hard. Like, I was going to go low, but it's not going to die to a Flamethrower. Unless you double-team on it right here. No. All right, goodbye, Gigalith. I don't see you living this, man. I don't see you living this. Yeah. Ah, that sucks so bad. That sucks so bad. So I could have just T-bolted the Arcanine here. That's what I should have done. I messed up. Should have T-bolted Arcanine. I messed up. Alright, Mazel's gonna go down pretty low, like I said. Flash Cannon goes off. It's gonna do a lot to the Bulu. Ooh, it takes him down! Okay! I don't know why I thought you were gonna live that. Granted, his stab Flash Cannon did a lot. So we got to him in the bag, then. We just protect EQ or just, uh... Or just, uh, I don't even know what. Yeah, we're fine. You know what? Killing that, killing, that was pretty good right there. Killing that, uh. So it wasn't the end of the world. It really wasn't that bad. Might as well get some good HP back between the terrain and the lefties. And sand that hitting me. It's alright. Not bad. The trio comes in. And that's going to be the end of this game. I believe we're going to have it. Whoops. Didn't mean to click that. Alright, bringing the trio right now. Alright, there it is, folks. There it is. I go protect EQ here. But then if that messes up, protect EQ it is. Let's just do that. Protect EQ. Because I ain't going to kill it. I have to get kill my own Pokemon. It's going to suck, but. All right, so Arcanine to protect here. We're going to outspeed you and kill you with this EQ. Good job, Arcanine. Good job, Dutria. Well done, well done, well done. All right, guys. We got game one. It took some working, but we did indeed get game one. Goodbye to the Arcanine. Not bad. We are 1-0 with the Sand Team, baby. Granted, I could have played a lot better and just, like, T-bolted the Arcanine there instead of risking all that. But, um... Yeah, I don't know why I was so scared of that Bulu. I really thought you were going to live Flash Count with, like, three qu like a quarter of your health left. But I think you just dropped dead, so... I'll take it, man. I will gladly take that W right there. And we're going to go on to a second game right now. Me, amigos. That was a long first battle, man. Maybe this is another long one. We can keep two episodes. Or two videos. Two. <laughs> two battles. Alright, game two coming our way right now, baby. Sand team on deck, looking fresh. Looking fresh, baby. Looking fresh. Continue battling right now. Let's put on uh, some uh, Team Skull music. Get that going right there. Alright. So, yeah, definitely, I, should, I definitely should have gone for the Arcanine. That was the problem, not going for the Arcanine. That was the problem there. I mean, we still won, but uh, only because Flash Cannon killed that, Coke, that uh, Bulu. Oh, we got a freshie at 1500 exactly from Japan. Alright, you have a Sylveon. See, I was wondering, why don't we use Sylveon more? I don't get it. Sylveon, this is like an old fairy team. What the heck? It's a pure, pure fairy team. So, I was wondering why people don't use Sylveon. Is Pixelate nerf that bad? I mean, fairy is not that good, I guess, right now. Because of all the um, steel Pokemon running around. And, like, some poison here and there as well. But, like, Hyper Wars is pretty damn strong still. So, I don't know. And the Pixelate nerf and everything. But still. Alright, let's see here. Maybe you, guys, maybe you guys can tell me in the comments down below why Sylveon ain't used that much. But... We are definitely going to need Steel for this matchup. Uh, steel hits everything pretty hard except for that um, Pre-Marina and... That's about it in all honesty. So you know what? Let's just go Sand right away. Gigalith, Dugtrio. 
Then we're gonna back it up with Magnezone and I think Bulu. That's gonna be the team right there, folks. The team right there. We don't need Salmons at all this game. Or Gyarados, really, to be honest, because, like, we're fine with this. No one tell me they need to like, all special attackers except for Mickey was like, physical. So we're okay right now. We are okay with our leads, I think. And in the sand, Doug Trio gets a boost in defense as well, I believe. Does Super won't get the boost? Is only Rock Ball get the defensive boost? You guys let me know that there as well. But anyway, we got Laylee and Sylveon up against Gigalith and Zug Trio. I have no fear at all, bar like Hidden Power Fire or like something crazy. We have speed uh, Laylee and hit it with the Iron Head to kill it right now. Bar a Scarf. If you don't, if you are Scarf, you have Sash to live that. Hence why I love Sash over Life Orb. Sand goes up. Terrain is up. We're gonna heavy slam. I could Y guard though, just in case Hyper Voice goes off. Uh, hmm. Heavy Slam, Sylveon, Iron Head, the Laylee. And I do have Fissure on deck in case if things get dicey, man. I do got Fissure on deck. I want to try to use it once. I really do, man. But here we go. Let's see how Turn ends up. Giggle the Trio up against Laylee, Sylveon. Two great mods against your whole team. Because you're a pure fairy team, which is like... Which is definitely very different for you to see. And I, I honestly, nobody I really expected that feel. But maybe it's going to be uh, good. We'll see what's going on right now. You do have that priority healing with the uh, Comfy, so let's see what happens right now. Let's just smart. Laylee gets out of here. Laylee is gone. Premier Arena comes in. Gonna catch an Iron Head. Gonna do about half to you at most, I'd say. But that Sandstorm boost, you see what it does. Let's see. With the Sandstorm boost. Boom. Oh, yeah. Well over half. Very nice. Shadow Ball goes off on the Duck Tree. We're gonna pop my Sash. And down to like 44 I go. Heavy Slam on that uh, Sylveon slot. Very nice. And Glam with Heavy Slam this time. Oh, that's a KO. Wow. That did a lot. Gigalith the god right now taking down a huge threat in the form of that Sylveon. And we got Premier is gonna die to our Iron Head. We got Giggle with a full HP still. We are in there, folks. We are in this is good positioning right now. Lady comes in. Alright, what's we gonna do here? You might bait me with that Doug Trio into the Lady slot. So what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna rock slot with the Gigalith. And with Doug Trio. We're just gonna get the heck out of here. In case you go for protect and then like scald on the trio. Where I don't wanna get burnt on Bulu, so I'd rather Magnus don't get burnt. So we're gonna bring a Magnus on here. Put the trio aside. He did his job already. And if you protect, if you protect with the Primarina, at uh, the Lady, worst case scenario, I get a free switch. It's a round for next turn. I get a Rock Slide kill on the Primarina. Let's see what goes down right now. Protected the Primarina. I could have gone for the Lady. Fluff me, dude. Psychic goes off on the. And if he was Scarf, I don't know if he was Scarf or anything, so I could have been a good play first right now. Let's see. Rock Slide Protect. Can this do a lot to the Lady? Let's find out. Stab Rock Slide. Should do about half. It's not more to the same. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. It's a crit! Did the crit matter? I don't know. I wonder if you're Scarfed. I really wonder if you're Scarfed. Magnezone should have speed that Primarina, barring any speed investment, because I have bare minimal, and you have probably none. Second won't kill me. So... Uh, 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 uh. I can also heavy slam lately as well right now. I'd rather just rock slide and T-bolt. Or rock slide protect, actually. No, because I might get hit by a skull and under the lift. So rock slide, T-bolt, Primarina, because he can't protect it, so switch out or go for double protect, which I know he's going to do. Let's see. Second goes off on, on the on the Gigalith. Yes, there it is, folks. All right, that ball coming us out. We have to be Primarina and DB2. Goodbye, Primarina, and goodbye to that lady. Rocks that goes off. Yes, good connect. Good job, Gigalith. Way to be, man. Way to be. So not for sure, guys. You can let me know in, in the comments down below again, because I'm like, I know I I love you, you see whatnot, but I don't know all the ins and outs. If Rock Slide is up against two Pokemon. The accuracy is reduced, correct? Like, instead of being, like, 85 or 90, it's a little bit less for those. But if it's, like, it's a single target, it's a regular stats. Is that right or wrong, guys? I know that the power gets split, and I don't know about the accuracy, but you guys can let me know. I'll be freaking awesome. All right, Heavy Slam, Mimikyu, and Flash Cannon Mimikyu as well. Pretty sure I got this game in the bag. This is bad. This is, like, the worst matchup for my opinion. I kind of feel bad, even though I don't, because it's a free win, but I'll take it. Oh, goodbye to... Who's dying right here? Probably the Magnezone. Mazen going down. We're going to crack it with the Gigalith and then bring out our Doug Trio again and just end it with the Iron Head. Barney Shadow Sneak, though. Shadow Sneak might kill us. We'll see, though. 
Never in the nightmare. Goodbye, our friend Magnus. Only about half health, a little bit less, maybe. A little bit above half health, so we're gone. Oh, we're way, way above half health, actually. And we're living there. Wow, good job. It's gonna pop your neck, and I think you died of the heavy slam here, so that's gonna be that. Game two in our favor right there, folks. Game two in our favor. There goes the neck. Very nice. Heavy slam for the KO. We got enough juice. Bop. Indeed we do. GG to my opponent. Well done right there, folks. That's a solid game two right there. Going for three for three. Can we go three for three? Can we go three for three? Get the four. Oh, that game. Going to be brought all fairy team. That's definitely like um an asterisk next to that win. Granted, a win's a win, but, like, that wasn't a true test of this team right here. All right, folks. Good, solid W right there. Let's uh, go to game two, man. I mean, game three. That's a short one compared to a long one. And let's get it going right now. The luck of, um, of the, of the team skull music, man. It's there. It's there. Continue battling. Let's put on the, uh, I want Aether Foundation. I always see what that one sounds like. So let's put it on now. Boom. Aether Foundation. Find an opponent right now! 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 Now? Shoot. I tried. I tried to work my magic friends. I tried, I tried, but it didn't happen. So right now, we are 2-0. But I, for my other, when I was playing with the brain team, I was 1-2 in my video yesterday. So we're 3-2 and two in total now. 2 wins, 0 losses with this uh, sand team. And we're going to see if we keep on going, man. Going to keep on going, going, going. Going to keep on going, going, going. And I'm really liking Gigalith's, Gigalith's bulk. That, um, Psychic on- what, what did I get by last game? I think it was Psychic on Gigalith. And only did like two-thirds to me in the Psychic Terrain. Which isn't bad. We did that pretty well. So we can, we can, we can hang a little bit against, uh, Lelys, Which is dope. We got Nemo with the Rain Team. Oh, man. This is looking furious in all honesty. I think I'm gonna leave the Sands. I definitely wanna leave with the Sands. Gigalith. Dug Trio. And then we're gonna need, like... Madison could trap Cartana, but he could just Sacred Sword the hell out of me, so I really don't do much there. Uh, maybe I bring Bulu, but then I just get I, I get uh, Smart Striked. So I'm gonna bring. If we're gonna bring Ments, I could also trap Metagross with the Magnezone, which would be a lot better. I don't think Gyarados is gonna see play this time again. I, I kind of want to bring Gyarados, but you can't intimidate Metagross. Uh, Magnezone just kills Golduck. Traps. You know what? I'm gonna bring Mazel just in case. I want to trap things. I really do want to see if that works out great against Cartana. So my other mod can take it down. But with that being said and done, folks, we got this last game coming in hot once again, guys. If you're enjoying VGC in the channel, show some love to that like button example. I greatly appreciate you getting the word out about my VGC content and this uh, team in general. So let's get it right now, folks. So if I could trap Cartana with the Mazel Salmon, it's great. I could flamethrower Cartana, bring it to its sash, or kill it, and then with the um. Mazel so I could just like protect or sub up or something get around that Cartana hopefully the only thing is that Cartana outspeeds both my whole entire team Outspeeds that whole entire team is rather slow barring Mentz and the trio So like I could also team with Gyarados like, I, I, I should have brought Gyarados maybe over Mentz But I need Flamethrower for that Cartana so no I'm happy with this I'm happy I'm happy Although I could have paralyzed it and then took it down with like T-Bolt on Mazel or Oh, well, let's see what goes down right now. Nemo, what do you got, man? What do you got? What's your lead? We got the true Gigalith. We got the sand lead. Up against... Laylee Metagross. Not bad. We could Iron Head Laylee. And we could, like... What does Metagross want to do? Or better, we could just go EQ. And switch out Mens. Do I want to EQ and risk a policy on that Metagross? Or do I want to... Bring out Magnezone, trap the Metagross... And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring a Meta, Metagross, uh, Magnezone for the, the, and the Gigalith slot. And I'm just gonna straight up Iron Head the uh, Laylee. You can't bullet punch in this terrain, so you know what? I'm fine with this. I am fine. Iron Head Laylee, kill it. Let's see. With Drew Lately, alright, you scared, friend. You scared. Pelipper comes in. Gonna reduce my Iron Head damage. It's fine by me. The drizzle goes off. And we're gonna trap that Metagross. See what it's gonna do. So our, our, our Iron Head's gonna do even less now because of the because of the the, 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 the uh, Sandstorm is gone. My Sandstorm is not activated. But at least we trap Mag Metagross now. Iron Head goes off. Gonna do a solid absolutely nothing as Metagross goes for a EQ. 
Oh, man, that sucks really badly. Holy crap, that actually Oko non I mean, it is times four. Yeah, that really blew, and there goes my, um... Uh, there goes my Magnezone. Just a huge, huge, huge win con. Oh, my God. Right, we gotta bring Immense here. We gotta, like... We gotta get rid of this Metagross. Immediately. Immediately. I didn't, I didn't think you have EQ at all. Did not expect that at all. It's gonna be a quick loss here, folks. Alright, Pelper's gonna be living because it's freaking... Pelper's not really a threat right now. But it could honestly take me down between, uh... So, you know what? I'm gonna Dragonium Z that Pelipper. I'm doing it. Dragonium Z that Pelipper. Devastating Drake it. And the Trio, we're gonna go for that EQ. I'll go Fissure for the LOLs, but I'll go for that EQ. I'll have to go for that EQ right now. I need it. I need that Metagross is gone. Pelipper for sex! Alright, we're gonna break through that Dragonium Z. Metagross is the same or no? Alright, we're breaking through, man. We're breaking through. We are going to break through the protective like, bare minimal damage. This is kind of a waste of our Dragonium Z, but it's all right, man. It's all right. We're going to try to kill that Metagross with one solid EQ. I wish the sand was up, but... Oh, we're going to hope an Adamant EQ is enough to kill this Metagross. It's not stab anymore, either. Oh, yeah, it is. That's Grand, yeah, grand Steel. Yeah, it is stab. Good. That's actually really good. Now you get you down to, like, kill range from Draco Meteor now, without a doubt. Uh, EQ goes off. Kill the Metagross. Kill the Metagross. Kill the Metagross. Kill the Metagross. Please kill that Metagross. This is huge damage right now. Not enough. It's too bulky. Deep a policy. EQ goes off right back at the at the um fluff, dude. Right back at the, the trio. We lose this game, I think, with this game. So I'm gonna flamethrower immense, and then with Gigalith, we gotta like. No, I can't. I can't even do that. Gigalith comes in, gets rid of the rain. So we switch out with the Pelipper or. Uh, I'll live one skull from Pelipper because of this because of the sand boost defense. Barring what your EVs are. And if I get burned, it's gonna be a ripperoni. Alright. Uh flamethrower metagross. Maybe he's a Solfest or something. I don't know what the hell he is. And just rock slide. I can live one skull. I know I can. I know I can. I hope I can. I have no idea if I can. I think I think I can with Drew Pelipper, alright? It's fine by me. Rocks that goes up on Kartana gonna pop your stash. This could be huge. This could be huge, honestly. With Drew Metagross, double switch into the Tapu Lele. Gonna get that flamethrower on the Lily slide and the rock slide as well. This is huge, honestly. Lily might drop. Lily might drop. And rocks that goes off. Hits both. Very nice. Can Lily drop? Lily gone, Lily gone. No! Lily almost gone. Now I can double protect and you will die to the sands. You will die to the sands. And that tells you the Santa and Samus first tells me Lily ain't scarfed. So we could have to be with Ments and kill it. But we do have Cortana who's a threat as well. So I'm gonna put my cards right right now. I gotta call what I gotta do here. You might double up on the Ments slot. Trying to kill it. And leave Giglith, but Giglith could rock slide again. If I could also flamethrower the Cortana. So maybe you're gonna switch somebody out. I don't know who. But somebody's gonna get switched out for the Lady. So you know what? You get switched out Lady for the for the flamethrower Cartana, and then we're going to Rock Slide. I'm gonna stay aggressive. I'm gonna stay aggressive. Somebody get switched out of here. Watch. Let's see. Smart Shark goes off on the Gigalith. Oh, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. But we're gonna live. We're gonna live that. We live in that. We live in that. All right. We this policy now. Plus two Rock Slide. Very nice. Okay. Flamethrower goes off on the Cartana. Cartana is gone. And then, what did you do? Did you go for Ments or did you go for the uh, Gigalith? Let's see here. Oh, you're, you're going to kill Ments right here. So, Ments is gone. It's going to be Gigalith versus the world. And Pelipper outspeeds it. So, we're going to lose game three. But it was a good game. It was a good game. We could have played a little bit better. We uh, we did everything right so far. The only thing was that the, down the downside was the uh, losing Madison so early that Mega was EU. That was a, a game-changer. I have no idea. I think oh, you went for him? Alright, so we're gonna be seeing, uh... Okay, you're gonna die to the sand next turn. So I just protect here, and I drink immediate Pelipper. We might have this game, actually, folks. We might actually have this game. Oh, you have Metagross still, too. Fluff a nutter, dude.
Uh, either way, I still protect here. I don't think Pelipper can Oko me. The Pelipper's rain is going to reduce the flamethrower damage on Metagross. So I don't know if you're bringing... You might save Lily, or you might just double attack with it. See if his play is the flamethrower. I mean, to protect right here. And Lily that to the sand. But maybe you bring in the... Pelipper, and then flamethrower. So maybe the flamethrower less than the Metagross. And just kill me with something from Metagross. First, instant is to protect. I'm going prote to protect here. Lily stay in. Lily stay in. Lily stay in. Yes. 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 Okay, Lily's going to die to the sands. This is going to fail. Metagross is going to go for, like, whatever. It's going to fail. All right. Sand hits me. Sand hits you. Not the Metagross, though, unfortunately. Goodbye, Lily. It's living? What? Was like a lowest roll possible? Oh my god. Oh, I thought you were gonna die to the sand. Now the thing is, do I go to protect or do I just go for the. You gotta miss that headbutt. I'm gonna flame throw the Lely slot and hopefully you miss that headbutt. Either way, I think we lose this game, guys. We, we lose. Yeah, we lose. Flame throw goes off. Goodbye to the Lely. Unless you miss that headbutt. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Do you miss that headbutt? Dodge it. This game hurts so bad. Oh, it hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Of course, the sand's gonna take me down, or... No, it does 10 damage. If only that Lily died to the sands. I could have flamethrowered here. Maybe you go for, like... I don't know what's gonna happen here. I lose no matter what happens. My only hope is if you, like, protect with the, uh... Then I drink a meteor, I go to neck two. So I'm just gonna flamethrower Metagross. Try to get a crit and Pelper misses or something like that. Oh well. We tried, folks. We tried. We tried. Flamethrower goes off on the Ments. Onto the Metagross. Yeah, the rain would have allowed to die anyway. Alright. Hurricane goes off. I send it to me. Wow, you're faster than the Metagross. Holy crap. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, we went 2 and 1 with this team. That Metagross EQ is what threw us off big time. So we know. Watch out for EQ and that Metagross in the future now, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Nips. Have a great day. See you later. Catch you next time. And enjoy your day, my friends. Much love.